this is the fire and sword. It's a preamp based off of an orange rocker verb created by Highland Amplification and Pepper's Petals. Its use case is fairly specific, and everyone can make it sound good except for me. So let's talk about it. Hey everyone, Chris with B Minus Demos. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you haven't already, go ahead and do the YouTube stuff. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, share the video, turn on the notifications, all that jazz. Today we're looking at the fire and sword. I first heard of this pedal uh, a little while ago when uh, Fluff, Ryan Bruce, I'd seen a demo that he did on it. And as an orange fan, listening to that, I was super excited about this. It sounded awesome. And every single video that I saw between seeing that initial one and just a few months ago when I picked this up just made me even more and more excited to get one of these in hand. But once I got it, I was confused, I guess you could say. It did not sound like the videos when I first got it. Even now, after a few months with it, it still doesn't sound like any of those videos. But I want to be very clear when I say I think that's my fault and not the pedals. I'm going to be completely honest here. I had a hard time doing a video on this. I really wanted to because I was so excited to have one. I wanted to do a video so badly, and I just, I had a hard time with it. To start, I've never really seen a piece of gear so affected by a buffer. I mean, it changes everything on this pedal. And when I first started recording with this the other night, I was just going straight into the fire and sword into my interface, and then I had Tonocracy pulled up. It was getting kind of late that night. I'd finished everything except for one part. I was like, okay, I'll just come back in the morning and do that. So I come back the next morning. Uh, I went ahead and threw my tuner in there, putting the tuner in front of it, which has a buffer in it. All of a sudden, this thing came alive in the room. I was like, whoa, that is amazing. So I ditched everything I'd done the night before and re-recorded everything with this buffer in front of it that made it sound amazing in the room. But once I played everything back, it sounded like this. Yeah, uh, as you can hear, that sounds like hot garbage. I don't know what happened. Nothing changed. I literally plugged in my tuner, I plugged in my tuner, which has a buffer, and I put it in front of it, and in the room, it sounded amazing, and in the recording playback, it sounded terrible. I spent probably about an hour trying to save that recording, and I, I didn't succeed. So before completely calling it quits on even making a video for this pedal because at that point I was super frustrated. I wanted to go back one more time and just kind of reset everything to how I had it. And even though it didn't sound as good in the room coming through the monitors, it sounded so much better on playback. Now, before I get into why I think all of this is my fault and not the pedals, let's go ahead and look at the fire and sword a little closer. You've got level, high, mid, lows, uh, and then your gain control right here. Of course, uh, engage or disengage the preamp itself. Uh, then you have your overall level for the boost, uh, which is independent. Uh, and then you've got a toggle here in the up position. You have the dire wolf uh, from high wind amplification. And when it's down, you have the dirty trees from Pepper's Petals. For these sounds, I was running into my interface, then into my DAW. Then I had Tonocracy pulled up. So the first sound that you're going to hear, which is how I had it set up for the intro as well, is just using Tonocracy as an IFR loader. I'm using my JCM800 preset that I have, but I have the amp block turned off, and I'm using um, the Ownhammer Rockbox uh, IRs. This one's based off of, I think, a 99V30. <laughs>
like I said, the boost is independent. It can be used by itself. And so what I did here was I actually re-engaged the JCM 800 model on the amp block. So I've got a full chain amp and cab IR. Uh, and then I'm using the uh, fire and sword as just a boost for the JCM 800. So why doesn't this sound as good for me as it does in all of the videos that I've watched? I think there are probably a couple of answers to that. I don't do a lot of post-processing to mine. I'm just trying to give you like that in the room sound, but I don't think that's the main thing here. I think I'm not using this the way it was intended to be used. This is a preamp and there are a number of ways that you can use any preamp pedal, but I think this one specifically was kind of designed to be used in conjunction with a power amp. I think that's where you're going to get the best sounds from it. I think it's meant to be used as like a, you can show up and no matter what amp you're using, you can just run this into the effects loop and you've got a rocker verb. Now, I think that for a couple of reasons. One is because every video I saw where it sounds absolutely amazing, that's how they're running it. Every video, with the exception of one that I saw, they're running it into some sort of power amp. That power amp section has such a huge impact on the overall volume, the gain structure, the way the EQ works with everything else. I mean, I've never seen a preamp pedal that responds so differently to a power amp versus just going straight into your DAW. Now, that isn't to say that it can't be run straight in like I was doing. Absolutely, you can do that. And there are going to be people out there who are way better at this than I am. They understand uh, the recording process better than I do. And they're going to be able to plug this straight into their interface, go into their DAW, throw an IR and some other things behind it, and get an amazing sound out of this. I think that's a little more rare in terms of the intended use case than someone putting this in front of a power amp and getting that really strong orange sound from it. But for my use case, it just doesn't really do what I want or need it to do. Um, and especially when I look at things like the Science Mother, which is a little more, th there's an aspect of it that's designed to be used straight into an interface. Um, and it responds a lot differently uh, than something like this does. Hey, that's it for me. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I hope you all have an amazing week. Later.